Welcome into Texas softball on LHN. Tonight, the number one ranked Longhorns get set for their final home series of the regular season as they welcome Iowa State to McCombs Field. Alongside Kat Osterman, I'm Alex Sloven. Kat, here we go. Everton talks about the leadership piece and Ochoa, the, their leader so far this season. And she learned that from Ramos last year, who had Sammy Williams, who is the, probably the greatest cyclone to ever play softball. Kavan with strikeout number one. Through that sophomore slump, and as soon as the season came to an end, hit the film, the off-season conditioning, worked hard to move that average up, but retired here for out number two in the first. 1-1 one, one, skied to deep right field. Maloney makes the catch in front of the track. And a one, two, three frame worked by the Longhorns. This year, as you mentioned, those outings against ranked opponents, but last year against Texas, a 9.69 ERA in 4.1 innings. Gets the first batter, Ashton Maloney. Quick fly out to left. And zero earned runs in just over four innings against Baylor. Another one skied to left field, two away. Well, her performance is against ranked opponents. Show in 11 of her last 12 games. Three fly outs to left field. A varying depth, and we've completed a scoreless first inning. One two to Tegan Kavan. It's her first. Base runner for Iowa State is Minor heading into tonight. Drop down the bunt, stays fair. The tag is made as Minor advances to second, one away. Katie Stewart getting the start at first. Here. Doing a nice job working the count full as well here. Payoff pitch over to Martinez. Two away. Next season in a Iowa State uniform. Let's turn the first few weeks of the season. The one two on the way to Johnson. Swing and a miss. And Kavan ends the inning with a strikeout. Well, Tegan Kavan doing a great job of it. Looking good so far and armored up. She's got the arm tape, the shades. Reese Atwood gives one a ride to center, but it will die down in the glove of Ochoa. Ready to go with the 2 1. Stewart sends one into the gap, bouncing off the wall. Katie Stewart sliding in there with a one out double here in the second. Washington to right field. Katie Stewart tags. And the throw, a good throw, but Stewart is in there with now two away with runners in scoring position and earns the free pass. Runners on the corners with two away. First at bat that hasn't resulted in a fly. And Henry is at a gold glove in center field this season. Lays down the bunt, charging in his spell hog in time. A bang, bang play to end the inning, getting the speedy Caden Henry. He talked to us about. First base hit of the night for Iowa State, courtesy of Merritt. Well, he talked to us about, and it's not the culture he brings, but how he tried to adapt the. And Kavan, the best ERA on the team in Big 12 play. Called strike three, third K of the night for the freshman. May or may not have delivered a few of those throughout your time. A little bit. And enjoyed it. Called strike three, back-to-back -back strikeouts. Runner is going, the throw from Atwood goes into center field and busts the pinch runners in scoring position. Hunt to steal yep. on Texas's catchers. Martinez gobbles that one up on the first. 
A single, and that is all for Iowa State. We'll talk to their head coach, Jamie Pinkerton. Rips one to center right at a leaping Ochoa. Took a few steps in and then was able to recover in time. Well, Bella Dayton almost burned Ochoa on that one. Those are the hard shots to read because it's I a lot of true slappers, but Ashton Maloney able to use her speed. She'll soft slap, she'll bunt, she'll power slap. She's able to do a little bit of everything. Scooting over a Wardlow to make the toss over to first in time. And so far, Iowa State's pitching and defense holding up. Jamie Half. Well, just her th second three ball count. She's done a really good job, as Coach Pinkerton pointed out, of working ahead in the zone. Mia Scott mashes one to right center. Texas is on the board. Home run number five on the year for the junior. Well, Ralston gave her a dose of inside pitches, all of them balls, but Mia Scott ready for the inside pitch. This time on time, on top, able to drive that ball. Texas starting to heat up, get on time with Ralston and her pitches up in the zone. I mean, what do we say? You're a fly ball pitcher going up against this Texas offense. That I know you don't want to say anything. You don't want to jinx it. I like the chances. Martinez with the dart to right. Backing up, Pool continue. Texas continues to just drill the ball. Their record a bit deceiving, 18 and 25 on the year. 5 and 13 in Big 12 play. Washington on the first. It's kind of been the opposite story for these. Iowa State on the year, 45 home runs. It's their most in three seasons. Scott handles that one well. Nice play by Mia Scott at the. And making quick work of Poole is Kavan, who's up to five strikeouts in four innings. And the freshman is absolutely rolled. After she got hit in the head, that let her come out and get evaluated and make sure she was good. Atwood with a base knock into the gap that will roll all the way back to the wall. And it's a leadoff double for Reese Atwood. This offense comes up to the plate. And she skies another. Freshman has done it again. Back to back nights with bombs from Katie Stewart. Balance with an off speed pitch, but Katie Stewart sits on this one and able to just absolutely pull this one left field, hit the bottom of the building. Freshman's eighth home run. She flexes so much power, but such an incredible hitter to back up Reese Atwood. You cannot avoid a single hitter in this Texas lineup, but if off. Earns a free pass here. First three batters of the inning have reached now against Sherman. Tough situation for depleted pitch as well. That has been tough to overcome for Iowa State. Katie Simmons. Pool is there. And Tegan Kavan in the circle. It's no wonder Texas is the number one team in the nation as Henry's retired. Well, and as you build a roster, you're in. RA and runs scored per game. As that one lifted to right field, Poole is there. And the inning comes to an end, but Texas scores two times in program history. Carly Spellhog, towering fly ball to left field. One away. They got the first number one ranking early in season, lost to Houston, and also LSU on that road trip. Five strikeouts on the night. There's number six. The 
Bunt laid down by Wardlow. Atwood fires one over to first. And when Texas is clicking on all cylinders like this, offense, pitching, and defense. I got to see him too. He stopped before they went in the huddle and or into the tunnel and came and said hi. So fellow LHN co-workers. Atwood over to short, handled nicely by Ranches. For a moment it looked like it would pull Spell Hog off, but I mean, Scott has already walked 22 times this year. Third most on the team. There's number 23 on four pitches. Martinez into the gap it goes. Racing around the bases is Mia Scott. She will head home and Vivi Martinez with her third RBI double in the last 24 hours. Well, Sherman was staying on the outer half and Vivi Martinez got behind on two balls knee height. This one almost a ball off, but she's still able to go with that pitch. Left center gap for some power. Mia Scott with the speed able to score easily. So here we go. Now a runner in scoring position for Reese Atwood. So big for Texas with runners in scoring position. Atwood over to short, handled by Ranches on to first. Two away. Is in. Oh, she launches another one off the top of the wall. Katie Stewart will drive in run number five on the night for Texas. She's just getting a hold of them. That's her. Washington off of Sherman. At this point, you just want to make sure the freshman is okay in the circle. Then this game, keep Texas from possibly ending it here in the fifth. Sends one to left field, and Allen on the run makes the grab. Texas scores two more times here in the fifth inning, and we move on to inning number six. These hitters, though, and I don't want to say it's adjusting because Iowa State's swinging. Yeah. But Ochoa swung, and here we go. Third time through the order results in a leadoff double for Iowa State, their first extra base hit of the night. Sends one to left center. That's going to bounce off the track and the wall. And the Cyclones have scored their first run of the night on back-to-back -back doubles. Well, now this is where it comes into play that Coach Pinkerton wanted to see his team swing early in the count. This a low outside pitch to Angelina Allen, and she just takes it right to the left center gap. Ochoa. Easily scoring from second, but being a good pitch. Now behind 2-0 and oh against Ranchez, unable to throw that changeup in the strike zone right now. And that's going to be a difference maker. She has to be able to locate that changeup. Washington backing up to make the grab in shallow right center. 3-1 on the way. Three of the first four batters in this inning have reached against Kavan. Upspin of Tegan Kavan brings that up in the air. Swing and a miss and a big strikeout for Tegan Kavan. Lot on her front foot a little bit. 2-2 two -two with two on, two away. Spellhog to left field. Another hit in this inning for Iowa State's going to bring home run number two on the night. It's a 5-2 ball game. It's three doubles in this inning off Kavan for Iowa State. Well, Kavan does go with a changeup, but it stays up in the zone, and Spellhog pulls that right down the left field line. Nothing Belega Dayton can do except for try to get the play at third base. Great hitting by the Cyclones. For two of them to get 0-2, but Johnson able to pick be patient after that big pitch here for Kavan. And the bases will be loaded for Iowa State. The 0-2. Got her! Kavan with a huge strikeout as Iowa State leaves the bases loaded here in the sixth inning. A 
Hunter to shallow left center, and backing up was Ranches to make the grab. Again, Iowa State. Dayton into the gap, it goes. Texas has won 85% of the game she's gotten a hit in since she arrived on the 40 acres. Bella Dayton with plenty of speed over at first. She's going, and the throw just missed. Dayton is in scoring position. Big 12 and stolen bases now with 72. Maloney sends one to left. Allen was playing shallow, but makes the grab on the run. Great job by Mia Scott to work ahead in this count 3-2 after going down 0-2 really early. Scott over to second, snared by Wardlow. And here we go, seventh inning on the way. The team this year now batting 3-0-6. Swing and a miss. A strikeout for Morgan, fresh out of the... Here's Malaysia Ochoa. First pitch to left. And Iowa State down to their final out of the night. Crowd starts to get on their feet here at McCombs Field. Payoff pitch. And a two-out walk sends Allen over to first. Adjustment has to be able to repeat that pitch right here. Got her! Called strike three to end the game! Well, a big two-strikeout inning by Mac Morgan with the ninth save of the season for Texas. As you mentioned, tying a program record, 18th win in Big 12 play.